What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Whiskey Tornado. I'm your host Lance. Today we are reviewing an excellent bottle that is extremely affordable and very available. So it's one I know all my viewers want to hear. It is Knob Creek 9 year single barrel at 120 proof. I'll just spoil the review for you guys. If you have not picked this up, run out and do so now. All right, before we get into the review, let me quickly explain our scoring system here on the Whiskey Tornado. We have seven categories. We rank zero to one, 0.5 being average. Two of those categories are handicapped. Those categories are presentation and availability. Then we move on to what's actually in the bottle. We rate the nose, palette, finish, body, and value. At the end, we add all those up. A score of three or better means it is bar worthy. That means you're safe to buy it. You will love having this expression on your bar. A score of four or better means it's so good. You might want to bunker some just in case they stop making the bourbon you love. All right, with all that being said, let's get into the presentation of Knob Creek Nine Year Single Barrel. All right, so as you guys can see, the presentation on this is very average to me. It's just okay, which may be one of the reasons why this particular bottle sits on the shelves, and while Knob Creek in particular sits on the shelves, why people aren't chasing it, they should be, because what's in the bottle is absolutely fantastic. But the presentation to me is just okay. We're gonna give the presentation an average score. It's a 0.5. That being said, I will say congratulations, Knob Creek. I think you're doing a little bit better with the wax on the top, which has been one of the things that I've absolutely hated about these bottles. But this bottle was particularly easy to open, so maybe they're getting better. Moving on to availability, that's where this is gonna shine. We're gonna give it a 0.8. Knob Creek, always on the shelves, always available. Um, these single barrel uh, 120 proof versions, not quite as available as other Knob Creeks, but I can still find them anytime I want. So we're gonna give the score a 0.8 on availability. All right, before we get on to the nose and palette, let me quickly tell you guys, if you are interested in these shirts, we've been selling a lot of them. Uh, you can go to whiskeytornado.com. We have all our merch up on the site. Uh, I would say this out loud, but YouTube is seems to be getting stingy on those things and I don't want to get demonetized. So a uh, huge thank you to all our patrons who support the channel. Thank you guys so much. We're upgrading constantly with cameras, with audio equipment. It's not cheap. So I really appreciate our patrons who support the channel. Uh, all you guys who buy our merchandise, it really helps me continue to be able to do this and review whiskeys for you guys week to week. All right, with all that being said, let's get into the nose on this Knob Creek nine year. <sighs> It's so good. It's caramel. Oh, it's it's dense caramel. It's rich, buttery. There's even some like, there's like a sour apple note. And I've said this in the last couple of reviews. I've been getting that a lot lately for some reason. That's I get a sour apple note here. I'm also going to review this nine year, which comes in at $44 to the Knob Creek cask strength 12 year. Um, that's what I have in my glass here at the end of this. Um, I have not done this until now, so I'm curious to see how this stands up to it. Uh, let's see, the nose. Mm. Really nice. For a $44 bottle, crazy nose on this. Mm. We're going to give it a 0.7 on the nose. There's a lot going on. Some sour apples, um, some caramel, some vanilla, but it's almost like a buttery caramel. You know this is super rich. You know it's higher proof. There may even be some like cherry notes in there. But yeah, 0.7 on the nose, really, really nice. All right, into the palette. Cheers, everybody. Oh, man. Mm, mm, mm. 
we're gonna get into the value, but for $44, my goodness, it's, you know, typical Jim Beam where there's a little bit more of those like honey roasted peanut notes, but the density and flavor and sweetness is so good. There's lots of brown sugar. I'm even getting some like strawberries or something in there. Normally with Knob Creek, I get cherries, but I'm getting some strawberry notes. That like, it's like a honey roasted peanut and then like a those black cherries, that's what it is. Maybe not strawberries, but black cherries. And I get that on the Knob Creek 12 cash strength, which I reviewed very highly. I'm getting those like black dark cherry notes in here, which I love. Honey roasted peanuts, brown sugar. Oh man, that's a fantastic bottle. I would choose that over a lot of bookers to be very, very honest. Um, man, that's really good. We're gonna give it a 0.8 on the palette. All right, moving on to the finish. You know, at 120 proof, it's certainly better than average. It's not the craziest thing I've ever had though. Or cinnamon, it's not overly drying. Uh, nine years is a perfect amount for a bourbon to me. Sometimes when it goes too long in the barrel, you can get a lot of those oak tannins and it can really dry you out. This does not do that. Really nice finish, better than average, but not the best I've had. We're gonna give it a 0.7. All right, moving on to the body. I have just a little bit left because it's so good, but man, it sticks to the glass. It's super oily at that 120 proof. Completely coats the palate. Coats the palate better than any $44 bourbon that I've ever had. Um, really nice. Would compete with a lot of stuff a lot higher in price. We're gonna give the body a 0.8. All right, moving on to value. So the value, the price on this is $44. And I've even seen it cheaper. This is a nine year, 120 proof bourbon that is fantastic. It is so good. I'm gonna taste it against, I have here, the 12 year, so we got three more years of age, um, four more proof points, so it's 124 proof. I rated this really high. This bottle is $150 compared to 44. So before I rate the value, let's taste the two and compare. Oh man, that 12 year cash strength does take it to another level. That cash strength has a little bit, not a little bit, a lot more complexity. There is what I love about that 12 year, the dark cherry notes are amped up, but then there's also this like toasted coconut um, note in the 12 year cash strength that I, I just absolutely love. It's one of my favorite notes and I don't even like coconut for some reason. And that it's fantastic. This has a little bit more nuttiness to me. Gosh, still so good for a third of the price. It's unbelievable. Oh man. Yeah, that 12 year cash strength is worth the extra money. It is really, really nice. But this bottle is so fantastic. To me, it is the best bottle in that 40 to $50 price range. I don't think it can be beat. When you talk about availability, the nose, the palette, the finish, the body, the value on it. Um, we're going to give the value a one because at $44, when you compare it to the 12 year cash strength at 115, uh, it's not as good, but damn, is it, is it still hold up as a finish that's really long? Um, we're going to give the value a one. I mean, I think this is, this is to me, this is the best value in bourbon. I know a lot of you are going to say, wild turkey rare breed is but to me i would if i had 45 dollars, i would buy the knob creek single barrel nine year at 120 proof over the wild turkey rare breed for my particular palette there's nothing else that beats this it's pound for pound the best bourbon i'm going to call it that pound for pound the best bourbon on the market at the moment um, it is so good especially if you love those peanut dark cherry notes really really fantastic superb at the price i'm absolutely blown away um that brings the score of this to a 4.55 this might be the highest bourbon i've ever rated when you factor in present or when you factor in availability and value 
it just shoots this thing through the roof. It is definitely bunker worthy. Um, and I'm gonna buy a lot more and put these away for my kids and grandkids um, and for me to just drink because this is some fantastic stuff at $44. Do not pass this up. I think pound for pound, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, pound for pound, and for my palate, this is the best bourbon on the market. Even beats Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Uh, and you know, these are single barrels, so perhaps I just got a crazy good barrel, but um, I'm gonna buy some more and see if I just did or if it's just fantastic, but I don't think it can be beat for the price. All right, guys, until next time, hope you enjoyed this review and cheers. Thank you.